before snowboarding gained its popularity, skateboarders dreamed of transitioning their sport onto the snow. I ride my snow skate more than anything else. It feels like a snowboard to me. I, I just feel connected. Being a lift lead, I oftentimes use my snow skate to make my rounds. And uh, I can generally just hop off and see how someone's doing, check on the ramp, and make my way. My name is Paul Elkins from Crested View, Colorado. Few snow skates. Yeah, I started out a long time ago doing the four buys, four little skis on, on skate trucks. Rolled with that for years, and then just in the last couple seasons, got down with the double decks. All right, Sandpoint, Idaho, Chiller Decks, Schweitzer Mountain. We just deal with the local scene. We build up the troops. Everybody needs a board. All of our buddies need boards, and that's what we're worried about. I'm Adam from Florida Powder Skate. We're from Ventura, California. And we started making these in 2003. Got it done when I lived in Florida. My name's Craig. We're from Pioneer Snow Skates. And we started making these about three years ago. We got really hooked on it. I feel strongly that snow skating is going to be the next thing. My name is Jordan Armstrong. And we are Circuit Snow Skates out of Nelson, BC. Oh. Skate the snow. Yeah. All right. Surf the snow. Surf the snow? Snow skate the snow. Being able to just see something and just like skateboarding, you know, ride it. Uh, make, make a jib out of everything and, and the ease of just being able to step on it and go. Mm. Yeah. Speak rock and sell with the morning news. Today this morning we'll be covering some normal propaganda that'll be going through one ear and out the other. What time is it? So we'll be subliminally broadcasting. Uh, we got Obama, we got Osama, we got Mo Drama, we even got Joe Mama, so please tune in every morning at 9 and 5. Steve Frank made this really rad thing out of a Hosoi board and an old browsing mill ski apparently. Having a bonfire, a little party there pre-season, everybody showed up and the door wasn't open yet. and. Skis are going on the fire, old skateboard deck goes on the fire, and it all just kind of came to me at that moment that the ski underneath was what was going to make the whole thing uh, thing work. And so I was trying to go through the wheelbase of a skateboard. This is what got the thing proven. In the beginning, when I saw Steve Frink with the first snow skate that was actually rideable, just destroy the hill on these things. That's what I took out of the world to uh, try and sell. The atmosphere we have right now might be a little better time for a, uh, an upstart snow skate company. So that's why there's some uh, good stuff happening again, because small companies are innovative and they're the ones who are gonna make the sport grow. How'd you get into snow skating? I started making them at Liptech with Shag. That dude. I'm Shag, um, I'm the snow skate, skateboard, little kid snowboard guy for bourbon manufacturing. You know, oh, we got banana snowboards, so let's make a banana ski for the thing. So we did and shrunk the board a little bit, get the skateboard feel back into it. You know, not put such a heavy glass on top, use a little lighter gra glass, maybe we can get some more pop out of it. Now we have a C2 in them and it's just like made for snow skating. Skateboard works. But I think the most significant thing that's made the board rideable has actually been the trucks. Jake from Rocker has done a really good job, really functional, that allows the ski to, to ride the contours of the snow rather than being uh, being forced into the shape. Uh, started skating, I guess, back in the early days when Merv came out with the first ones. Me and Tim and the Cummins brothers gave it a try, and right off the bat, I knew it was going to be super fun. So I figured. Mervin knows how to make killer skis, they got that down, but the trucks were too blocky and they didn't feel skate style. We started thinking about it a little bit, just wanting them to ollie and carve a little bit harder, let the ski, like coming from a snowboard background a little bit, I know how the boards ride. Making that thing flex up hard, that's what Rocker Trucks is all about. Make it pop for everybody. Alright. Get the most flex out of them and then flip them. It stiffens this portion of the board yeah. up. I'm off. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a theory behind it.
All these big skis and powder skis, that's all pretty awesome. But, you know, the thing I really like is stuff like, you know, these jib parks and just trying to do skateboard tricks in the snow. That's what originally we were into. We wanted to skateboard in the snow. How did Shut Up and Snow Skate start? What year was that? That was like 2000 and... 2001, 2002, 2002 I think. 2002. Uh, that came from Costa Rica in 2001. It was 2002. We uh, we were talking about having a contest in the shop, and then uh, there was like a small like snow skate rail jam at West. Afterwards, we said, "Man, we got to do this for real, legit." And then later on, we actually did it. And it lasted six years. Six wonderful years. Nice. What was the best thing about it? Just the way it drew everybody together. And we just met so many people because of Shut Up and Snow Skate. Now we got like the Ralston Cup is awesome. Uh, the Hurricane Ridge two day, almost legendary bank slalom. That's pretty awesome too. But it was pretty much, you know, the Shut Up and Snow Skates were for the Bidekers anyway. The, that was what got us all together. And, Getting this gun. Les, I'm Jason Vaughn. I'm the manager of Skidmark Terrain Park here at Sitzmark Ski Hill. Tomorrow we've got our fourth annual rail jam happening. Got help from a bunch of snow skater friends. Fully helped us rebuild the park. Make a, a groomer do what you want it to. Did a great job for the day. Show the local folks what snow skating's all about. See what I see. Every year I can pick up the tradition Digging deep in the archives of vintage beats and rhythms Yo, no superstition, just realism, some real wisdom Yeah, see the cut, but I want you to feel my vision I bring it back and pick up the tradition Digging deep in the archives of vintage beats and rhythms Yo, no superstition, just realism, some real wisdom Yeah, see the touch I possess, so intent on the mic I move the crowd emotionless and bring the dead back to life They don't hate to like that stuff They love to despise Soon that I get exposed They pull another disguise I summon the wise sons With shouts of a dying tongue I'm making my way east To the house of the rising sun I would come so far And we still got momentum But some of these people Are off in the wrong direction So I bring it back And pick up the tradition Digging deep in the archives Of vintage beats and rhythms Y'all want no superstition Just Realism, some real wisdom. Yeah, see the cut, but I want you to get my vision. I bring it back and pick up the tradition. Digging deep in the archives of vintage beats and rhythms. Yeah, no superstition, just realism, some real wisdom. Yeah, see the touch. I just reach now, I feature. Host of lyrics. <laughs> Thank you.
to, to hope to see in the next couple of years in snow skating. Hopefully everybody mellows out. We can all be cool and continue to skate like we are. Over the last eight years, we worked pretty hard to you know, let places you know, let us ride there. And just, I think the big battle now is just to keep it on that level. You're free, not strapped in, man. Try one. So uh, I got a question for you. you got, you've got to have Will you skate the snow? Yeah, I always skate the snow. Be a part of this whole scene, which is just like so rad right now. <laughs> Hey, you gotta skate the snow. The future? Uh, just keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> Don't be afraid to take your boots and bindings off and skate the snow. Danny Way and those guys started launching 70 foot airs on skateboards. I started to realize that, wow, really, you know, snow skating is gonna be able to do everything. Will you skate the snow? How'd you get into snow skating? Uh, my boyfriend bought me my first skate for my college graduation present. Yeah, that's how. Will you skate the snow? Will you skate the snow? Got some skate for the snow? <laughs> Have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> stuff I see scattered around the internet, you know, there's a lot of sick stuff happening around the country. People are starting to open doors and there's a lot of stuff going on and so, we're, uh, we're bound for a very good future.